वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल बाय कैम बाय वर्ड थोड़ी आल बी डिस्कसिंग पी एफ यू डी एन ए पॉलिमरीज विच वी जनरली यूज इन आर पी सी आर रिएक्शन फॉर द स्टडी स्पेसिफिकली स्टडिंग फॉर द एस एन पीज एंड फॉर द क्लोनिंग पर्पज एज वेल आई बी डिस्कसिंग सम ऑफ द स्पेसिफिकेशन ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर इंजाइन विच वी यू वी नीड टू गेट फेमिलियर बिफोर यूजिंग इट इन योर मॉलिकुलर लेबोरेटरी एंड फर्स्ट इज इट इज अ थर्मो स्टेबल इंजाइम एंड सो कैन यूज इट इन द पी सी आर रिएक्शन okay where the temperature is uh, the highest temperature which we use is 95 degrees celsius for the denaturation of the my dna template next uh, the molecular weight is approximately 90 kilo dalton okay it's a molecular weight it is isolated from a uh, pyrococcus furiosus okay the picture here it is it's uh, it's uh, in this uh, for organism that is pyrococcus furiosus the enzyme replicates dna at 75 degrees celsius the extension of the primers okay it takes place at 75 degrees as like we can say it's optimum temperature at which the enzyme extends my particular primer annealing to the template catalyzing the polymerization of nucleotides in the 5 dash to 3 dash direction in the presence of magnesium it requires a salt it requires a cofactor so i add magnesium in my cocktail cocktail okay PFU DNA polymerase another specification uh, that I already discussed in my previous video that this is a high fidelity enzyme okay the error rate of uh, we can say adding adding a miss base pair we can say miss base pairing okay the error of adding a wrong nucleotide at a particular place is very low in comparison to tag polymerase okay so hence we use this where we require a great deal of fidelity okay like in snp studies because we have to study only a single poly nucleotide polymorphism so i i need a enzyme which cannot we can say skip that thing okay due to any of the reason okay pfu dna polymerase also possessing 3 dash to 5 dash exonuclease that is the proof reading activity whenever a base misincorporation takes place it excises it from the 3 dash it exonuclease nucleases from the 3 dash and consequently pfu dna polymerase is recommended for use in pcr where the primary extension requires high fidelity synthesis okay and uh, the pfu dna polymerase generator pcr fragments are blunt ended another point to keep in mind okay blunt ended my products should be blunt ended there will be no sticky ends okay there will be no sticky ends keep this in mind next is uh, the, uh, i have mentioned a particular we can say the recommended thermal thermocycling and we can say the final concentrations of uh, pfu dna polymerase from po promega and the in uh, the thermocycling is as follows initial denaturation at 5 degrees celsius of 1 to 2 minutes for one cycle only okay and the main the steps denaturation annealing extension for 30 uh, 25 to 30 cycles i usually uh, did on 35 cycles and it was more than enough product okay and um, the denaturation uh, 95 degree celsius for 05 to 5 minute uh, sorry 1 minute and uh, annealing 42 to 65 degree celsius for 30 seconds and extension for uh, 2 to 4 minutes at 72 to 74 degree celsius and keep that in mind that the temperature needs to be very accurate in case of the extension because the pfu dna polymerase is working at 30, 75 degree celsius only final extension okay so that nothing is nothing goes wrong final extension okay 72 to 74 degree celsius same for 5 minutes okay i usually keep, i usually kept at 7 minutes approximately you can keep 5 minutes as well and uh, next is we can say the soaking for the recesses indefinite okay and on the right hand side these are the reagents and the major thing which i wanted to highlight here you need to keep the final concentrations as such okay uh, and the total uh, here it is meant for 50 microliter reaction okay it means that the end volume of my particular reaction will be 50 microliter okay but in some cases you need uh, to put a 30 microliter reaction or 20 microliter reaction you will calculate accordingly uh, using uh, m1 v1 m2 v2 formula and uh, keeping in mind the final concentration should be this one okay the pfu dna polymerase usually 10x buffer okay my stock we can say the stock one theek hai and it is usually incorporated with magnesium sulfate so i don't require mgcl2 from the outside or mgso from the outside which we uh, tend to usually do when we use tech polymerase 
okay it is already there and so i don't need to put it and uh, i uh, 1x 10x to 1x okay stock consideration is 10x my working consideration is 1x one times okay and dntp mix that is dntp 10 millimolar in my stock 200 micromolar each okay and uh, upstream downstream primers which we usually synthesize needs to be 0 0.1 to 1 micrometer uh, micromole sorry and uh, micromole sorry dna template variable depending upon the concentration of your dna per microliter and usually i used to check it should be like approximately to 40 nanogram depending upon uh, how much product you need or uh, you want to save from it or you want to do multiple experiments from the product itself so you keep you keep in mind these things when you decide the my mi uh, the microliter of my dna template okay check out the nanogram per microliter with the concentration wire a nanodrop or something or you can go for the agros marker uh, point okay dna pfu dna polymerase and it is you required approximately 1.25 units per 550 microliter reaction okay 1.25 units only and uh, final you make up the volume too by using nucleus free water okay nucleus free water that was all about PFU DNA polymerase when you use this particular DNA polymerase in your PCR reaction in PACR that is polymerase chain reaction that was all about it thank you so much for watching my channel please like subscribe and share thank you very much